Water is on the way and with it a higher risk for MRSA infections. MRSA germs cannot be killed with many biotics, as a Westchester mother and her toddler know all too well. Not on your side's Brianna Harper joins us with more on this mother's warning to other parents. The risk for MRSA may be there, but the problem is it's not always easy to detect. That's why the health department, daycare centers, and parents say education and prevention are a priority. It may not look like it, but daycare centers are one of the most prone areas for MRSA spread through skin to skin contact. The bacteria can cause skin infections and more. A struggle Soraya Skaleski and her two year old son know all too well. We were in the doctor's office uh, literally every two weeks just due to different sicknesses. A year ago, her son was infected with MRSA. Since then, he's been given numerous antibiotics, but health professionals say sometimes this treatment can only do so much. The common antibiotic that this bacteria used to be sensitive to, it's no longer sensitive to, so it's much harder to treat. Younger children and those with weaker immune systems are more likely to catch the MRSA infection, a fact that most daycare centers consider in their illness prevention plan. That includes hiring professional cleaners to disinfect the classrooms each evening, emphasizing good hand washing practices. We also post notices on the classroom doors, so if someone has been out with a diagnosed illness, we will post that on the door so parents are aware. It's a step that Soraya hopes can help other parents. It's been hard on us financially. You know, you're paying for the daycare, but you on top of that are paying for your child to be in and out of the doctor. The health department is also reminding people that if you do happen to spot a skin infection, it's always best to get it checked out just in case it could be something more serious. Brianna Harper reporting nine on your side.